Our region's business is sponsored by PNC Bank. Solutions that help you achieve your goals in life. PNC, leading the way. And by Heffron Tillotson, a history of meticulous wealth management since 1948. Our region's business. Innovation, transformation, momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, the world is coming to our region next month, and it's time for all of us to get ready. No matter what the final security arrangements turn out to be, we're likely to see traffic tie-ups that will make a Steelers victory parade look like a walk in the park. Pittsburgh may be open for business on September 24th and 25th, but it sure won't be business as usual. And the same may hold true for the airport corridor in Oakland. Fortunately, we have resources to help, chief among them the Pittsburgh Regional Business Coalition for Homeland Security. Kelly Barsick is executive director of the coalition, and Dr. Lauren Roth is chairman of the Pittsburgh Regional Business Coalition for Homeland Security. Welcome. Good to see both of you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, first of all, I, I guess the G20 coming, enormous opportunity for our region, but, but big challenges as well. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment, but we probably first should, should explain exactly what the Business Coalition is. Absolutely. We started in 2005. Uh, Department of Homeland Security and Westinghouse came together, and they wanted to start a private-public partnership between the business community and our region responders. So we formed uh, it to do that, and we brought business continuity tools to our business community. Uh, one is a communication system, which we'll talk about in a little bit, that's going to be huge for the G20, as well as an asset system where we can bring in privately owned assets for the region responders to use in the time of emergency. And Dr. Roth, I remember you were in there at the very beginning of getting this Yes, order. I was. Business co continuity is really important for the entire community, but uh, we're confident that it will be business as usual for us. That's, well, that's, that's an exciting uh, <laughs> statement of faith and confidence, which is great. And, and how, how can the coalition help? You mentioned a couple of the services you provide. Absolutely. Um, our one communication tool, Beacon, Business Emergency Communication Network, is a email capability where we can send out information in a timely manner, whether it's to prepare, respond, or recover from any kind of incident um, or threat to our region. We're going to be using that uh, with the county and uh, region responders to put out information during the G20 to let people know what's happening at so that anybody time. So can, anybody can register? Anybody can register. Yeah. It's on our web page. Uh, you click on the beacon and you can sign up and we put you right into the system so you can start receiving those messages. So not just for G20. You might get, there might be something that could happen between now and then or after and Absolutely. this is a continuing service. Uh, we use those for severe weather updates, uh, whether or not uh, there's been a structure fire somewhere, a gas leak, or maybe possibly if we have another bomb threat in the tunnels. Wow. And there's already a lot of businesses signed up? Abs absolutely. Like 2,000 businesses. Is that incredible? That's wild. And seven or eight in the last hour. <laughs> Seriously. So with Seriously. the G20 coming Seriously. and the publicity, people yes. are, are really plugging into this. Very much so. It's going to be a great communication tool for the uh, county to get information out. I, I know there's, uh, there's an enormous amount of, of information on the website. I mean, Dr. Roth, uh, as, you, as you look ahead over the next several weeks, if you're a business that really hasn't thought about this before, uh, how to do g uh, contingency planning, what do you, how do you begin? How do, what do you begin to think about first? Well, right? I think you need to begin with common sense. You need to know uh, who your employees are, what kind of expectations you would have for them uh, during this particular time. What are your critical supplies? Where is your information? How will you communicate uh, with both suppliers and with your own employees during something like this? Uh, so there are a number of things, but the website very nicely lays out in categories and gives you forms, which if you haven't thought about this, you can start to think about this with the business leadership that you have. Uh, one of the things we're proud about the coalition is that this is a grassroots effort, that this is actually the community of businesses coming together on their own and uniting with government, namely Region 13, Chief Full, the people who are responsible in the long term for all of this preparedness. And this is really quite unique and actually what we're doing is being copied uh, in, in Erie, 
potentially in Philadelphia, and we've gotten uh, wonderful reports on this, and of course everything will grow during this time as well. It's interesting. I mean, you think about all the great history of public-private partnerships uh, in Pittsburgh going back to Renaissance One, but you know, in, in this case, Region 13, as I understand on the public sector side, is, is, a, is a national role model in a lot of ways on how to organize that part of the community, but what, what the Business Coalition has brought is a way to bring together the business community as well. Absolutely. Chief Fool has been nationally recognized uh, even for trips I think they did to Israel. He was one of three people from the whole United States as an emergency responder to attend. So Region 13 really leads the way for Pennsylvania. That's, you know, Lauren, a lot of people are wondering, you work with these guys, you've been working for, for, for years, you understand all of this. I mean, you got to believe that Pittsburgh, that this region can handle the G20 and, and we, can, we can make this work. sure this region can handle the G20. I know that there's been extensive planning. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for us to show what a great city we are. And uh, as you, this program demonstrates and many other things, people are going about this in a thoughtful, systematic way. Uh, Kelly, is your phone ringing off the hook? We talked about the email registrations. Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. And we're happy to answer any questions. And it's very interesting because I get to find out what other businesses are doing. You know, I've had a lot of businesses call to let me know that, hey, would it be all right as, as a good continuity plan for my people to live in the office for three days? In that way, they wouldn't have to come in and out of the city. So it's very interesting to find out what other businesses are doing. And that way, I can almost relay that information to a certain business that sounds the same. So what do you say to the people, and they're all over the community, nobody's telling us anything, we don't know anything, I'm going to shut my business down, I'm just making that decision right now. Uh, if people have an awful lot of impatience right now sure. that they're not finding out what they want to know soon enough. Right, and, and you know what, that is a problem, that information can't be put out uh, as quickly as we'd like. But you know what, uh, people are starting to take it upon themselves to make their own plan. And if some cases for places to shut down and work from home, you know, is smart for them. Uh, but they may not want to have the credentials to come in and out of the city or the hassle to do that at certain checkpoints. But a lot of businesses are, are getting prepared and getting their people credentials and badge so they can come into the city. Sounds like every business has got to make a business decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's another point I'd like to make. Uh, large businesses which have a great infrastructure and a vital product, they must be prepared and they have the resources to think about this. One of the functions of the coalition which really to reach your audience, uh, small businesses are very vulnerable when bad things happen mm. because they haven't had enough of employees and infrastructure and what have you to think really logically what will happen during something that does happen. And uh, so that's one of the great features of the coalition because our website can introduce them and in a like a logical way of a checklist, have you thought about this? Have you thought about this? You, you may not have the resources to do everything you'd like, but if you can focus on those vital functions which need to continue, so in that sense, we're like a little uh, tutorial and we would encourage very much and we love to have more members. We want to grow. Excellent. The website address? www.pittsburghcoalitionforsecurity.org pittsburghcoalitionforsecurity.org Thank yes. you both very much. Thank you. It's an exciting time. Appreciate Great. it. Thank Next you. up, time to red up. Stay with us.